Hello everyone, welcome to Ian's Bricks, I'm Ian and today I'm outside this building here, it's called the Genesis Centre it's in a place called Lockheath which is halfway between Southampton and Portsmouth and there is a Lego event on today um, it's a, a sort of a, a family sort of event, Lego fair, that kind of thing so I'm going to take a look inside, see what they've got, a bit of a queue at the moment so I'm going to queue and then see what they've got Near the entrance end they had uh, these uh, mini displays, I like the, uh, the small Millennium Falcons, it's a nice Jack Skeleton there, uh, they're really really cute they are, um, and uh, I like the white one as well, the dragon looks excellent, and we have the white Millennium Falcon as well. Some other sets they had on display, uh, the spiders are quite good, and I really like that uh, built uni, uni kitty that's really really clever how that's all put together that looks great some frogs and insects all very good little uh, mini bills which I, I really really appreciated they had lots of uh, uh, mocks that were for sale uh, the pokeballs look really good and they had some brick heads and things and here are some other sets on display as well you can sort of see the range of sets that they had on display some older sets like these uh, Lego Dimension sets all at reasonable prices five and six pound uh, this is a fantastic display that was there loads of brick heads in there which I really really like to see um, real good selection there I particularly like the uh, Minnie and Mickey there at the front that's excellent And this is by uh, Sue and Sarah, Sue Ra Toys, who I see at quite a few of these events. I had a nice chat to them both as well. They were really busy. And some uh, decent builds at the back as well. There's a rather nice uh, little display there of the, the Lord of the Rings house. And I really like this. The Everyone is awesome, but it's been changed with the uh, space minifigures. That looks brilliant. I'd love to have that absolutely amazing and this rather nice uh, set here of the uh, different uh, Star Wars levels as it were this mock made by Tyrone Love that's a really nice Batman sort of the bat cave with all the things going on there with the boat and the car and really really clever and had this uh, rather nice uh, Star Wars one here as well that's a really nice display and I didn't realise, but after a while I realised that if you press this button here, it all lit up and sort of went through the motions and did this little light display, which was absolutely fantastic. These were the uh, the gifts, the gift baskets that they had. So when you came in, you got a ticket and you had a raffle ticket number and they were giving one of these away at 11 o'clock and one at 2 uh, here are some other sets that I spotted, some unusual space sets there with the spacemen, I'd not seen those before, so they were unusual. And uh, in one of the rooms, which I had to queue to get in because there wasn't much space in there, plenty of really odd sets like that, Lone Ranger set you've just seen, some city sets at the back, lots of super superheroes, loads of Hobbit stuff, and all of these were sort of uh, very old, you know, quite a few years old, all at very, very good prices, I thought. For some of the older sets, they certainly weren't, uh, weren't too bad at all. Some elves at the top there, some more Hobbit there. Very unusual to get all these Hobbit sets, had the, some other sets as well, some very, very good prices on some of these sets. Nexo Knights, that's quite old. Ninjago sets, Ultra Agents, I don't remember that. Star Wars, I had plenty of Star Wars stuff, they caught my eye there, those uh, things at the back. So there's a real good selection of uh, stuff. Right, I'm back in my car after the event. As you can see, it's raining. It's a really miserable day. Uh, there's still quite a big queue outside of the uh, event. Uh, it's quite quite small in there, so there's not a lot of room. And uh, I had to queue for a while to get into one of the rooms where a lot of the uh, in individual interesting sets were being sold. But that was fine. Uh, and they've just done a raffle. So there's two raffles today, one at 11, uh, one at 2, to win a big basket of Lego. Uh, they had to shout numbers out three times. I think people had left without, uh, without sort of uh, staying 
paying back to see whether they'd won the prize. So people, two people missed out, but the fact eventually, third time lucky, someone won. So this uh, little lad got this uh, big basket of Lego, which was fantastic. Uh, really nice event in there. I mean, uh, they sort of advertised it as a, a family event, a place to get cheap Lego. And I have to say, it was really, really good. There was lots of sort of uh, cheaper sets in there, unusual sets, older sets as well. So it was really nice to see some of the uh, older sets that I'd not seen for, for quite a while. Um, I was sort of looking for stuff really for, for myself or just some unusual items that I've maybe not seen for a while. And uh, yeah, I didn't disappoint actually. I mean, there's lots of stuff I could have bought. I thought I don't want to spend too much, but I'll spend a little bit of money. That's fine. So I'll show you what I got. So first of all, I got some minifigures. So um, one of the first things I bought actually, I went in and there was a guy selling some minifigures and he had them on at, um, I think it was £3 each or two for five pounds uh, and so i spotted this uh, bugs bunny one here uh, from the looney tunes theme i didn't I didn't get any of those at the time so nice to get bugs bunny there uh, there's no base to it but that's fine I'm not too bothered about the base and i also got wily e. coyote uh, they had them there as well so really nice to get the wily e. coyote figure they didn't have roadrunner unfortunately else i would have got that but never mind uh, and i also got this as well this is from the lego uh, movie 2 minifigure series. This is the uh, the lion, the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. So uh, really pleased to get that as well. So he actually did me a deal and I got all those three for, uh, for £7 because it should have cost um, £8 but he did me, did me for £7. So that was fine. Um, and there was a, quite a few other things I was looking at buying, uh, other, other minifigures as well and, and this, that and the other. But eventually I sort of queued to get into this um, this big room, uh, in, I said big room, but there was a room in the corner which you, they were only letting so many people in at any one time because I say it was quite busy in there. But the, that guy had loads of sets and, and loads and loads of stuff, old stuff, unusual stuff, which was really, really nice to see. Uh, so I'll show you what I got first of all. So we have this here. Oh, I can show you the prices as well. It's still got the sticky label on. Look at that. So I got the Lone Ranger set, the tent. Uh, it was £25. Let's just peel that off. There we go. So the set number 79107 um, Comanche Camp. Uh, I just think this is an unusual set. I don't think the Lone Ranger sets were particularly um, sort of sought after at the time, but uh, the box is in great condition. Uh, obviously, it's all still sealed. Uh, there's the back of the box there. But to pick up this this up for twenty five pounds, uh, what uh, what year have we got on this? Let's just have a quick look. Oh, it looks as though it's from Argos. Look, it's still got the old Argos sticker on the side. Um, I just had a scene on the side of the box, and this is actually from twenty thirteen, so it's nine years old. This set. Uh, I don't think the Lone Ranger theme was out for very long, but I like this because it's the tent. I think anything with a tent in is a really, really nice set. There's been a few sets recently from Lego City and Lego Friends with tents in, and I'm always strangely drawn to those. So I really like that set. You get three minifigures by the look of it as well, and it tells you the names of the minifigures here. If the can, camera can focus, which is not doing very well. Anyway, whatever. Uh, they are uh, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Red Knee, apparently. So that was the first set. So that cost me £25. The next one... I think they're all Star Wars, the next ones. Uh, we've got this. This is an old battle pack here. Um, so this is 75164. This is the Rebel Trooper battle, battle pack. Um, and uh, this is something that I don't own, so it's nice to get something that I don't own. This is, again, from a few years ago, uh, from 2017. So I missed out on this one when I was, when I was Lego collecting myself back in 2017. Um, and I think he had this on at, uh, I think these were 24 to 25 pounds i can't remember the exact price but it was a really good price anyway i'll probably have to check back on my video to to see how much that was so really nice to get myself one of those as well um a couple more sets as well now a lot of people don't like these but i think these are uh, these are unusual um, and it's these sort of buildable figures that they did for Star Wars a few years ago. And uh, they weren't particularly popular, which I think is why they're still quite cheap. So this one here, the uh, K2SO figure, 75120. Uh, this cost me £10. I mean, I think that's a bargain bargain anywhere. I know these weren't particularly popular, but I quite like them for buildable figures. It's from 2016, so it's six years old. Uh, and again, it's just a sort of an odd... An odd figure but uh, yeah from Star Wars I quite like that so to get that for £10 is a real bargain for especially for quite an old set and the final set that I got I literally spotted this at the last minute let's hold this up I got this this is the uh, the Darth Vader buildable figure here uh, set number 75111 got it for £15 I mean again that's a very good price for that uh, I know as I say these particular um, 
theme of items aren't particularly popular but I, I, I quite like that it's unusual to see the Darth Vader one um, and uh, what year was this from 2015 so yeah this is uh, this is seven years old now this set so it's quite old uh, but so really pleased to get that one um, and uh, yeah I don't think that's too bad I said out of all the Builder Build minifigures I think the two that I got are actually quite good ones so I'm really really pleased to get myself and all the boxes I have to say are very good condition they're all sealed which is wonderful so I, in total I spent 70 77 pounds and another one pound to get in so i spent 78 pounds altogether uh, so it's not not a huge amount but i was just really really pleased to see some unusual sets in there it was very busy i will say that i think the venue that they've got is fine but it's very very small in there and obviously people are wanting to get out of the rain as well because it's really horrible weather uh, this morning uh, but it's a bit of a shame but never mind it is it is november so uh, well, what do you expect anyway i hope you enjoyed this um uh, this video of the uh, the toy fair um, at the Genesis Centre here in Locks Heath, uh, halfway between Portsmouth and Southampton. Um, I'm hoping that they do more of these. Um, whether they use this venue again, I don't know, uh, but certainly it was worthwhile coming along. People were buying up loads and loads of stuff, lots of unusual, lots of lots of unusual sets, and people buying a lot of sort of um, superhero stuff and, and all sort of stuff like that. So nice to see that people getting some decent bargains at a, a Lego event. Uh, I've really enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, take care and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.